Welcome to the What's Happening Birmingham video podcast. All right, everybody, back again. Another insurance segment with my friend T right here. It's Josh Escott, licensed life and health, state of Alabama. Also, you all know me, host this What's Happening Birmingham podcast. I want to talk about short term disability insurance today, T. Yes. Um, you know, what if one day, not very far in the future, you become disabled and you can't go to work? How are you going to pay your bills? There's a particular insurance product with short-term disability that you can either purchase individually or part of a group through your job that takes care of that. Um, one policy I'm actually looking at today, which you know we are you know employed by several different carriers, but one we have that'll pay you twenty-eight hundred dollars, or let me look at this one, a monthly anywhere from five hundred to six thousand dollars. Um, so tell, I guess for the start, what is short term benefit? So short term disability um, is actually, it replaces your income mm -hmm. in the event that you're temporarily um, disabled or having to be off work due to some type of disability um, and you're missing time off. So um, short term disability poli policies are, um, they're post tax, they're not okay. pre tax, and they're um, driven by your annual income. So you'll have to, you know, prove through taxes or, you know, what you have to prove your income so basically the benefit can go anywhere between five hundred to six thousand dollars um, a month that um, we replace in the event this happens to you uh, we normally ask um, people to think about your mortgage or your rent mm -hmm. your car payment you know things that you can't necessarily skip mm -hmm. if you were not able to um, go to work and, and, and you hear people say all the time well I have a savings for that a rainy day oh, and yeah. that's fine but when I think about my savings account and I'm thinking about look, yes, you know, yes, I, I don't yes. want to have a savings account that I need to go pay the power bill with. You know that that no, I want to have. I'm, I'm going to take that money and and put some some of that into a short term disability policy, so that if life happens and I'm disabled and can't go to work because I'm hurt then I have a policy that's going to pay that. So it's kind of like the smart way. Why would I put all my money in my savings account just to deplete it, paying bills, when I can take a risk of paying for a short-term policy? If life happens to me, then it's going to pay that. And we're talking anywhere between 3 to 12 months with the um, with the short-term disability um, policy. And it will replace the income. So you can, you can replace all of your monthly income or you can replace a portion of it. But it is income-driven. Driven, and there is a, um, a premium associated to it, a monthly premium, based on what you select. So each price is, is different. It's not going to be a set price for everybody, um, is what I'm saying. But yeah, short-term disability is a policy that I often see happen a lot. Um, you can use it for um, surgeries. You can use it for um, if you're going to be out pregnant, you know, things like that. Mental health, I see now. Mental health. Okay. Um, so these are policies that you don't want to wait until it's time to try to go get. It. You want to go ahead and have these kind of policies in place already so that if it happens, then you don't have to wait because there is a, um, in most cases, a waiting period, depending on your carrier, there's a waiting period. So you don't want to have to wait to it has happened and now you you got to go find a policy then you got to wait again because you got to um you got to wait it's a it's a um it's a what is the um the term I'm looking for it's a, a waiting period elimination, elimination yeah, period yeah, elimination period from 7 days yes. up to 180 yes. days so you know you want a policy <laughs> tailored for you so that if life happens it just kicks in it's easy. It's no questions asked. It just kicks in, and you don't miss a a a, a beat with paying your your bills. Yeah, I see. This one it says like it's like a value rider. It pays you a thousand every five years while the policy is in force, up to five times. Yes. Now that is that is called the waiver of um, premium. Is what it is. Oh, okay. It's, it's yeah. A, yeah, that's that a waiver. Value. Oh, okay, okay. You're talking about the, okay. You're talking about the value rider. So yeah. So that one there. Um, if you don't have any um disability claims in five years, then yes, it'll pay you a thousand dollars every five years because 
you it pretty much like a reward. Yeah. And that's a rider. And I tell people all the time to take it take advantage of riders. Mm -hmm. Riders are gonna be kinda like your incentives that um that pay you or reward you because you haven't had to use the policy or as such. So yes, you wanna have that. Now we also have a rider that you can put on this policy too that'll cover COVID and, and things of that nature as well. So you wanna make sure you're taking advantage of riders because they um they actually reward you and pay out if you don't use the policy. Yeah, and also like I look at this activities of daily living. Mm -hmm. Okay. It pays for that. Mm -hmm. Like if somebody, if you can't um, do like your daily, um, like your uh -huh. bathing or brushing your teeth or your daily activities, uh -huh. it will pay for the ADLs for some skilled nurses oh, wow. to come in and, and take care of that. All of that is included in the policy. So guys, you know, you, you can't, um, I, I encourage people to take a dumpster dive into uh -huh. the products because you can't name a product fully what it is. You can't say short-term disability policy that pays for your daily living, that pays yeah, for your yeah. COVID, that pays for your, your, your medical bills. That yeah. it, it's, the, the name will never end. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's, it, you have to kind of make it small, but it's a lot of stuff to unpack in these policies that you can't, you, you, you'll miss gauge yeah. it if yeah. you just go off of the name of the policy. Yeah. You need to do your research and find out well what's all included in a short term disability. Does that mean I just have to be disabled and I got to be on disability? No. That now, does these mean policies, that. Uh, this came to my head too. I know people are watching. Does this cover like if I'm like we did a previous segment, we were in an accident. Mm -hmm. It covers on and off the job injuries. Yes. Yeah. Yes. On and off. So you you and there's a policy for each scenario on or off. So you can tailor these policies to meet whatever need you need met. So I just encourage and urge everybody to, we want to talk about how we're adulting and we're doing the adult thing yeah, at this yeah. big age. And, this, and if you're this big age and you don't have a plan in place, you're doing yourself a disservice. And the reason I mentioned that too, because a lot of y'all are probably thinking that, okay, yeah, if I work in a job that's like physical labor, yeah, I definitely need this disability process. But if you work in a professional job, hey. What if you get carpal tunnel, carpal tunnel, or, tunnel you know, or, or, or you fall over uh, some equipment or whatever? Yeah, I mean, so, and, and, and a lot of policies are now um, putting mental health yeah, into uh, the policies because, guys, it can be mentally draining sitting at a computer all day. Yeah. Just because you're sitting down doesn't mean that you're not taking on a strenuous, you know, daily activity. So, guys, it, 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 it's beneficial. It's beneficial. Yeah, so if you're interested in purchase policy, please give us a call. Contact us. Like I said, we with various carriers. We can find several affordable options for you. And especially if you... With your job, we got that's a special rate, and if you're a business owner, this is something great to offer your employees as something that's optional or something yes. you may want to contribute. And well. let's talk to the business owners because a lot of business owners feel like if they're a small business owner that they can't afford this. Mm -hmm. Guys, you can still offer these products to your staff and not have to you don't have to pay for it. You're just offering it because they're with your organization. It's a great retention tool to help you retain and gain employees because good help is really hard to find right mm -hmm. now. So if you're able to offer a product product that's gonna you know look out for your employees should life happen that makes you great above the competitive um, the competitive uh, advantage you mm -hmm. know because you actually are offering a product that ABC mom and pop store may not be able to offer it that employee is gonna come work with you because you're giving them benefits from day one all right so yeah contact us if yes. you're interested in it all right Thank you for watching the What's Happening Birmingham video podcast. Please check out our website, app, or subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest videos today.